Can you get some paper towels? So today, Florence and I are looking at the Little Brian paint sticks. We've got a nice big pack here. It comes in 12 classic colours, um, which we're looking forward to using, aren't we, Florence? Yeah. And it's supposed to be really nice and child-friendly. It's all water-soluble. I'm going to draw an orange. You're going to draw an orange. And it goes on all kinds of things like wood, uh, paper, everything. So... Lance has never used these before, so we're going to have a little look. There's lots of colours. What colours can you see, Florence? White. A white one. What's this one? A yellow. Yellow. And orange. Good girl. And green. And blue. Brown. Brown. And pink. Good girl. And green. Red. Red. Blue. Green, blue, blue. blue. What that one is Brown. black, black, and purple, purple. So what are we going to start with? They're like little prick sticks. They're like this one. What colour is this one? Orange. Orange. So the lids come off. Let's have a go. Let's let me try. So it's a little bit like a crayon. That you can then pull up and use them to paint. So hold it properly. That's it. What we're we going to paint? Wow! Now Florence is only four, and she's just discovering how to draw. So we're starting our drawing journey. What are you drawing today? A tongue. A what? A tongue. A tongue. But they look like it's really, really easy for them to get a lot of success. We don't have to keep dipping in. We don't have to get lots of water out. So for a mum who doesn't like lots of mess, these um, little Brian paint sticks are great. What are we drawing now? A big long nose. A big long nose. Like Pinocchio. Like Pinocchio it is, isn't it? We need a body. A body. And arms. And legs. And legs. He's got five legs. He's got five legs? Yeah. Oh. Do you want some other colours? Yeah. What colour should we have now? So while Florence chooses, draw. look at how bright and vibrant it is. Can it's lovely. Have to draw a sunshine? You want to draw a sunshine. So if we put the lid on, that one, there. And pull the lid off. A bit hard to get the lids off. There we go. It's quite good because it's teaching her how to hold it properly as well with the pincer grip. It's a really early morning. Just an early morning. Just going to move the camera a little bit so you can see. I'm going to turn on the lid on. You need to put the lid on. I'm going to choose white. Do you think white's going to show up on white paper? Yes. Yeah. Do you think? Yes. You put them in a line. So Florence has now got white, they're a little bit like prick sticks, but not bluey. This what side. It's not guys, they're going to show up on your white paper. She worked out that she needs to twist it to get it out. That's enough. I going to draw a bone. A bone? I think maybe we need a different colour. What about a brown bone? No. Green bone? Yeah. Yeah? I need to put the lid on. Good girl. In true Florence style, she's lining them up here. And I've got a bone going on. Is it a bone? I don't to draw... A horse. A horse. 
I think we can safely say that we're enjoying these paint sticks, aren't we, Florence? I go to draw pink. Let's put the lid on. Yeah. Do you want another piece of paper or are you okay with that one? Pink one. Pink. Do you want another piece of paper? Yeah. Yeah? Let me get you another piece of paper. So who should we draw a picture for now? Great Nanny. For Great Nanny? What would Great Nanny like a picture of? Oh, a pink. I like the draw. What would she like? What would Great Nanny like a picture of? A horse. A horse. You draw her a big horse. And her big body. Wow. And her knee. Her mane. And her nose. Good girl. And her neither. What are you drawing now? Legs? This horse has got lots of legs. Yeah. How many legs? Can you count them? Oh, I can draw it in X mark does. An X marks the spot. Do you want to do some green grass for the horse to be running on? No. No? Or a yellow sunshine. What about his eyes? He's not got an eye. How can he see? Red eye. A red eye. That's a good idea. He's a little one first. There we go. And Florence is drawing a horse. Looks a bit like lipstick that you used to draw on Mummy's makeup table one day, Florence. Are you colouring in now? Yes, yeah, I go to draw red. You're drawing red? Yeah. My ears are spotty. It's a very good horse. Has he got a name? He's called Finn. He's called Finn? Yeah. That's a good name for a horse. Do you want to draw? What else do you want to draw in your picture? He's still colouring in your horse? Yeah. Yeah. We need, we need a tail. He needs a tail? Of course he needs a tail to swish away the flies. Should we do the brown? Yeah. Going to have a brown tail. There you go. Does he have a long tail or a short tail? A long tail. Whoa. I'm very impressed with this horse. I'm just going to show you Florence's picture of a horse. Yeah, and her uh, beak. What um, else is he having? Stones for breakfast. He's having stones for breakfast? Yeah. Do horses eat stones? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. I'm making it brown. Well, I'm very, very impressed with these paint sticks from Little Brian. I was a teacher, so I've done lots of art with preschool children and school age children. They're really easy to use. We've actually had these paint sticks in our cupboard for quite a while and not had them out, but as you can see, they're still working very, very well. I love the fact there's no mess. I love the fact they're easy to hold. They're child size to hold. I love the fact the colours are very, very vibrant. And there's just such a good array of colours. And Florence, do you like painting? Yeah. Do you do thumbs up for the paint sticks? Can you do thumbs up? Or are you too busy painting? You can draw a handprint. You can draw a handprint. Well, we're going to leave these little Brian paint sticks here. Um, but certainly, I think Florence and I would give them 10 out of 10. So if you need something to do with your little ones, we recommend them.